Hi guys, it's Martin. Um, I said before I'm going to do a little video on me making my dough. I'm going to run quickly through it today. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, my videos are sort of running short in storage. So that's the flour that I use, the caputo. I've used various amounts of um, other flour, oh, various flours, uh, zero zero flours. Uh, Please use zero zero flour. If you can't find it, just turn it until you can find it. Because um, I don't believe you can make proper pizza without that. Um, but any zero zero flour, but this is a very good one. I like the caputo. Like I said, I've used Listagioni, I've used loads of others. Um, that's probably the best one. I'm just going to show you quickly that's my starter. My starter is, I keep it in the fridge, I feed it once a week. Um, I'm going to use it now. I've just taken it out. An hour ago giving it a mix you can see it's nice bubbles there uh, it sort of gets to room temperature in about an hour I'm going to use it today whatever's left I'm going to throw it out I think I'm going to mark there throw it out to about there and throw the rest away uh, or cook something with it uh, then I fill it up again and uh, I'm going to leave it then mix it up leave it outside for a couple of hours so to just uh, start making bubbles again and by tonight I'm going to put it back in the fridge this is the salt that I use, sea salt, Atlantic sea salt. And I've got it in the house, so I'm going to use it. It's fine. Um, I mix it. You can see it's fairly coarse salt, so it's better. I just mix it in a little bit of water just to, to not, otherwise you have little bits in your dough. Flour. I've um, measured this flour. This is about 1.6. Um, now, flours, recipes. I don't really have recipes. I like just doing it by hand and by feel um, and um, most of it is temperature it's it depends on what the temperature is um, it is um, it's getting winter now so the temperature is going down I would say it's about 18 degrees in the house at night which is a nice temperature but it's quite fresh I'm going to use about 200 of that starter the flour is 1.6 and I'm going to use about 35 to 40 grams of salt into just a little bit of water, mixing it up. Then I'm going to put that salt into this flour, and just mix it in uh, with the water a little bit. Then I'm going to add two, no, because it's getting better in summer when it was about 22 degrees in the house, I would have used about 200 of that starter, 200 grams. Today I'm going to use about 300 gram of that because it's getting colder, so it needs a bit more oomph um, and a bit more starter sort of will help that. I'm going to let it ferment, uh, um, bulk ferment tonight. Um, it's about 8 o'clock now. By 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is just over 13 hours or so, I'm going to have a look at it maybe um, about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock tomorrow. I'm going to boil it. I'm going to bulk ferment to take it out of the bowl. I'll show you tomorrow morning. Boil it, put it in my dough boxes, and then I should make pizza at about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So... It's another one, two, three, but another five, six hours um, in uh, ferment in the bowl. Um, okay, so I'm just going to crack on a bit because I've got one hand and I'm recording as I show you. So salt in the flour um, with a little bit of water, 300, I'm going to put starter in, and then I'm just going to add water, um, but I'll show you, I'm, I'm going to stop and start. So. Let me let me do a bit and then I'm, I'm going to start again because I've got only one hand. Okay guys, just to show you, oh, I've added the um, the water, mixed it in, the flour, it makes sort of little bits. It's just to, the other thing is you don't want, you, you, you want the, um, you don't want the salt to get in contact with the starter as, as little as you can. So make a little bowl. Um, says 1,000, I have to say 1,900. I'm just going to add some of the starter now to this. Uh, and if I look there, I want to get to about, well, say 2,200 will be about 300. That's it. That should do it uh, to my starter. And um, that's the starter added and the salt um, so far. And I'm just going to get some water now and just add it. Okay, guys, I'm just adding water now. Um, I'm just adding out of the tap, really, just some water. And just um, 
I used to use bottled water, but um, I've, the last couple of weeks I've, um, I've, just, I've just used normal, normal tap water. I'm going to add probably about 800 to 900 milliliters, which is nearly a liter, I would have thought. Uh, but I'm going to just show you, um, this is what I end up with, and it's, I now just sort of just mix it slowly into this. And from here, you have to really just play it by hand. I normally have a bowl of flour on standby, and then the water, I, 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 you know, I've, I've put quite a lot in here now, but I will mix it and see where I get with the water, and then just add a little bit until I, I'll show you what, what, what I want to get to. But uh, if, if, it, if you put too much water, don't worry and don't fast, just add a bit more flour again. But uh, I'm going to mix this with my hand like that and keep going until I get to the end of it and just to save some uh, um, video here. And then I'll show you what, what I want to get at. Okay guys, um, I've mixed some flour. You can see it's really... Um, really stretchy I think I think I've put basically too much water in but anyways I'm going to tip this out on the surface on the surface here and uh, shake out all of this extra dough and um, sorry I'm doing one hand and then, but and you can see when I get to this I'm just going to keep mixing it now a little bit and see where I get to you see it's very it's very I like a wet dough but you don't you you have to be careful of where you where you want to get to with this dough you can see i have a spare bowl of flour so i'm going to mix this now a little bit and see where i get to uh, i'll keep putting on and off the video just every now and then show you where i where i get to but i'm just going to continue with this until i absorb all this bench flour here and see what it looks like then and if i have to add more uh, but it's sticky so you can see my hands are sticky in there but don't don't worry just keep Keep going um, until you use up all that flour, and then you'll see from there. Okay, uh, guys, I've, I've um, I kept on with the uh, mixing the the wet dough. I added, I finished that bowl. I got another bowl, and I've um, you know I've, I've added a little bit, just like you know I just sprinkle it a little bit there on the bench, and just as you go, you just sort of touch touch it there. And um, and just keep working it in, but you can see now it's it's we we at a much better place now with this dough, and that's about the consistency that we would like to see. You can see now what it looks like. I'm just going to see there. This is what you're looking at. But now we've got to keep. This is this is the stickiness consistency I want for the dough. Basically, I want it sticky, but not. That you know you, that you can't do anything with it. You want it. Sometimes it will stick to your hand. You can see, but if you press and release, it, it releases from your hand. So, and your hand's still dirty. It gets dirty. It's still sticky. But that's that's what I want. I want it still to be quite sticky. You can see that it, it sticks to my fingers as wet as possible, but manageable. Um, now the the main thing is to keep now kneading this dough, stretching it as you go along. And what you want to do is you want to you want to keep going with this. If it, if you feel oh, it's still maybe a bit too wet, sprinkle. Just a sprinkle like that, you know. Put it back in and just keep going. But you want to you want to knead this dough now for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes until you reach uh, a point that they call point of dough basically. And that is where you will see the dough. Currently it has, it looks like, you know, it's, it's got little waves in the dough. And that's the dough hasn't mixed properly yet. And the gluten strands haven't formed and everything. So you want to stretch it and keep mixing. Uh, and keep kneading it for about 20 minutes until you get this point of dough. You will see the dough will change. It, it's going to get silky and smooth. And you will feel, ooh, there's something, something has happened to this dough now. You will see when you get there. So it's now just knuckle down and uh, just keep kneading this dough as much as you can. Stretching, stretching, folding, stretching, folding, and just keep going with it. Doesn't matter, you need to do this now for 15, 20 minutes. And I'm just gonna stop the video while I do this. 
Okay guys, um, just to show you, I've just finished this dough, I've washed my hands quickly. Um, just to show you what the dough will look like now, that's what I was talking about. You can see it's silky smooth, this dough now. It really is. It's, and if you feel it, if you feel it, you, you will feel it's just completely different texture. So the thing to do is now, is once you get to this point, is make up a little ball like that. Um, and leave it for a minute or so. Just maybe put a little bowl that doesn't dry out the top. It's not going to dry really out that much, but um, that, that will help it dry out. Uh, leave it for a minute, um, and then we're going to come back to it. Okay, a minute's gone. Um, we're just going to take this off and just, just quickly show you what we're going to do. You will see now, I will now just give it a quick, quick uh, knead again, but it's really, really good now. You will see. And if you do this, you, can, you want it to be, you can see it stretches now. It's lovely. And you just keep folding it in the bottom. Lovely stretch. It's so soft, it's smooth and silky. Anyways, I'm going to take the take it the container, put it in there, and just make the ball stretch it at the top stretch nicely. Fold it in the bottom, and that's it. Um, that's it. Basically, I'm now just going to wrap this in cling film, and I'm going to leave it for the night. Um, just on the last note, this is a sourdough recipe. Like I said before, using a starter is very difficult because you you don't know how active that starter is, and that's that's the difficult bit of of you, your starter can be really active. It's going to uh, more with the act, uh, more with the dough. Sometimes it's not, so it's going to you know your dough is not going to rise that quickly. So it's very tricky to do it with a starter, and starters can differ. So that's why. I don't want to say this is the recipe, use that much starter. It all depends on your starter, how active it is, etc, etc. So you have to play around with that. I have to say next week or next time I'm going to show you a proper, just a, a normal recipe of... Um, I did the course at the Association of Vera Pizza Napolitana in Naples uh, for 10 days. Um, I have the original Napolitana STG recipe, which I'm going to, I mean, it's, you can get it on YouTube and lots of places, um, but I will post that and, I'll, and we will make that as well. It's just with, uh, with yeast, uh, brewer's yeast. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll make that and I'll get some yeast in. I, like I said, normally I try and use this as for me, it's a bit more tasty and uh, I like the, um, the, um, uh, how can you say it? Uh, the, I don't like something, you know, it's easy just to make the recipe. I'll give you a recipe next week. That's straightforward. And you're going to get the same results. You, you have to play around a little bit with the salt, maybe. Um, and the yeast as well, you know, a little bit at the grammage and stuff on the yeast. But it's not as volatile as the, uh, as the starter. Um, but still, you get a lovely pizza out of that as well. And that's what we will do next. Um, and I will also do a video of, of, of um, where, wh who am I really, um, how, I'm just an amateur, just like in do my pizzas and um, basically did a course on, on in the proper, in Naples for, for like I said, it was 10 days, um, which I can honestly, anybody if you can do it, um, it's the best thing I've done in my life. Um, and it's, it's the best place in the world to do it as well. People are fantastic. It's just I can't praise them enough. Best thing ever. Hello everybody. This is um, the morning after the night before. Um, this dough has been risen now. It's about 9 o'clock now. 9.30. Um, and, and, and you can see it's easily it's, it's doubled now in, in, in um, rising in... in, in so I'm going to, um, I've got my little scale and I'm going to, um, I'm just going to zero that and I'm probably going <clears> to <throat> put a little flour in there just when I, when I do the balls and it doesn't stick when I weigh them. Um, there's a method to do it by hand, um, which I will show in a later video, maybe when we do the uh, proper STG recipe. Um, 
for this, uh, you know, I like to have a dough ball of about 250 to 270, um, you know, anything up to there. But I think that proper Neapolitano rules for the SDG say it should be between 180 and 250. But, well, you know, um, that's neither here nor there. If you do the World Championship like I did before, um, you have to come in under 250. So, um, and they will, they will, they, they weigh it properly. Um, it has to be between 180 and 250. But for the exercise, I'm just going to probably ball at about 260, round about there. Um, then you don't have to work too hard to stretch the feet uh, to a 13 inch. Okay, I'm going to um, get the dough out now. I've got one hand again today. And um, then I'll take it from there. Okay, I'm just going to take the dough out. And, and so you do this. And you can see there's like nice hairy bits in the dough. Bubbly. Um, like that. Just clean the bowl. Just for this exercise, I'm just going to show you quickly how I make a couple of bowls. Um, I'm going to work this dough too much. <clears throat> just give it a couple of turns like that. Um, and then I'm going to put some flour down just so that it doesn't stick everywhere. Zero it out again. And basically, I'm just going to do. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, that's probably that's more like two. Well, we. 329 but it's even sometimes that's 269 I'm happy with that I'm gonna keep it there um, that's 250 that's 270 <coughs> so that's about right and I'm going to continue with the bowling the um, doing the balls and just quickly I'm going to show you one <coughs> what I would do afterwards um, Afterwards, I'll take my ball, get my hands on flour, because it's really wet, and roll it like that. I don't know if you can see. Roll it and just work it. And you want a little foam at the top, you will see it stretching the ball, stretching it, stretching it. And you stretch, you fold it in underneath each other, like that. And you would see you get a like a really thin very stretchy and it's a thin little layer like that and once you get to that point that's about where you want to be and that will be one ball uh, then I'll just continue and put them in my red box I'll show you later okay um, I've done the balls basically weight them out like I, I make 12 and at the end the, the last one was a little bit bigger I think it was 280 or something nearly 300 I just cut a little bit off and divided equally amongst the dough balls. Um, just show you what, what we're doing. This is um, a dough box, proofing box, which I've made myself. I've used oak as a, as a base and it um, isn't just normal wood at the, around the side uh, because I like that the oak really gives it a nice flavor when the, when the wood when the uh, dough balls sit in there you can see it makes little marks and stuff but that's fine um, so basically you you can clean this once every month maybe i suppose take a, just a wet sponge and just take it don't don't use any um, uh, liquids uh, so washing up liquids and stuff just put in the water just wash it off a few times and it will come out I just make the ball like this um, when it's nicely. You will see sometimes it makes little bubbles. You can see it's already making little bubbles there, little air bubbles, which is fine. That's one. Um, I'm going to put three in there, six, um, and then I'll continue with that. And then it's going to sit in this box. The reason for the wood box is A, I like, I, I'm sure it, it does take a bit of the oak flavor. It sits in this box, it smells lovely, um, the wood. And the temperature control uh, that it keeps the the, the uh, doubles at, at a nice steady temperature uh, the wood is very you know it, it, you don't get a variation in temperature drops so um, and um, 
It's going to sit in there for four hours now. All right, I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, guys, I've, this is basically what the box is going to look like. I've made a lid for it. You know, just stick the lid on it. That's going to prove now. Um, this is my boxes, like I said, I, I made myself. There's another easier way to do it because it's very difficult to get hold of these boxes um, other than really, I've, I haven't found a place to sell it. But I'm going to show you in the next short little video how to make your boxes, which is very easy, very cheap um, and, and really easy to make. And that's using wine boxes, that, but you have to go to a wine store. I'll show you exactly what I mean and I'll show you what it looks like later, but they work just as well. Or you can just use a normal plastic box, but um, plastic trays that fit on top of each other. This I'm going to put the lid up and I'm going to wrap this again just in, in, in cling form just to make sure I've got this. I could only find um, oak strips and I had to put them together so there's slight gaps in here which the air can come through and I just sort of put, um, I just wrap in cling foam just to make sure that no air gets in and I'll leave it for four hours and we'll show you this afternoon before we make a pizza what it looks like. Okay guys, I'm going uh, to open the box, the dough box from this morning, I'm just going to have a look at it, there you go, that's what they look like now, see that they've, haven't risen as high as I thought they would, but um, I think that's a decent pizza, it's at least doubled, and uh, it's got a beautiful texture, so uh, I'm looking forward to making some pizzas. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. Right, I'm just going to make a quick. Uh, it's going to be the first pizza of the day, so I'll show you quickly what I do. Take it out, drop it straight into the flour. Keep the lid back on to keep it. And uh, now, I've just got a plate full of flour. Uh, you dip it in a few times. Take it out on the base. Um, start in the middle, press slowly back, go f work the ball all the way out, I work my way back again, turn it to the side, like that, it's a lovely dough this actually, and now you're there, give it a little couple of slaps, it's not really necessary because the dough is so perfect. It's a lovely dough. It makes a little bubble. Sometimes I pop them just not to get the black bits on it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that's it. We're going to go with the tomato. One and a half. Uh, all the way around. A little bit of uh, Balmaha. Oh, Parmigiano, mozzarella, because it's going to be the first pizza I'm just going to make, uh, just putting a little bit of mozzarella on, so it might not turn out very good, so I don't want to waste this, it's just going to be sort of like a tasting pizza, so I'm going to leave it like that, and pause it. Okay, so I'm going to put there, put your hand in, put some down, put it on the peel, stretch it with your fingers, stretch it with your fingers once it's on the peel. It's a lovely dough. I'm going to go into the oven. There. That's it. The oven's not very hot, but it's quite nice actually. I'm going to make it. It's going to be a big plenty away from that. Put it on the same spot. Very soft, very nice. 
so that's how it should be and um, sometimes if, if the bottom burns if you put too much flour at the bottom so I try to put as little as possible flour now got a couple of So if it, if it burns the bottom too much, just keep it off full like that. Just rotate it. And so that's not these two bits here was from the beginning, it just popped out. Very soft, very soft. And that's it.